Kit Kats. We're at the Beaver Mountain Hill Climbs here in Utah. Awesome, this is the Remshaw event. A lot of vintage sleds, a lot of brand new sleds, a lot of big names here, Riley Kincaid, Keith Curtis. They're all here. Let's go see if we can mingle with them and uh, let's get the party started. This year sled? It is. Dude, this is awesome. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Cats. This on uh, Riley Kincaid sled, the new Catalyst. Looks like he kept the Alpha Rail on there. I wonder what class this one's running in. Looks like we have a Catalyst over there with a twin rail. That must be in the mod class. We're right here at the starting line, you guys. Look at this. They run. They run two lanes so they can run races at the exact same time. If they didn't do that, they wouldn't be able to get through all the racers in one day. So they have the blue lane and the red lane. They're going to trip the starting light. It's going to start the timer. There's a starting, uh, timing light right at the finish line, too, and that would uh, keep track of everybody's time. Riker. Nice to meet you, Riker. This is my nephew. Nice to meet you, Wyatt. Yeah, dude, we're all team artists. I love the color of that thing. Thank you. It's really slick. It froze yeah. last night. I guess the frost level was like just right at the base of this mountain. So. This one they usually make you cut across the face and it's hard to try to keep that edge. Yep, it's hard to even bring it on one speed on this though. Twin rail or single rail? What holds this type of hill um, better? Definitely a uh, twin rail because the alpha rail kind of gets slick on ice. It's uh, really it's hard to and kind of washy a little bit. So the foot rail really, really that, works well. Is that your other sled over there? Yep. Gosh, is that a 600 sock? That's a six with? improver, so. Okay, uh, yep. little, mo works. little motor work, yep, but stage, stock chassis. Stage kits. Yep. What are you up next? Oh, I'm up like right now. <laughs> Watch out, man. Race number 102, Riley Kincaid driving Arctic Cat out of Victor, Idaho. be surprised to see this sled already on the snow but I could not wait any longer some late nights a lot of uh, a lot of wrenching to get this thing on the snow today I wanted to try it out this year since we still have some snow so I know what we got for drag racing season first impressions as I'm driving it feels like it's kind of doggy out of the line I think there's some clutching that needs to be had and maybe some gearing um, we are at currently 8,000 feet at this uh, Remshaw Hill Climb. Um, we're right at Beaver Mountain Ski Resort. 8,000 feet. This sled being carbureted, and it's 
it's probably 65 degrees right now. It's gonna run pretty rich and pretty fat at this elevation and these temperatures. But I gotta get it on the snow and make sure that this skid that we just put in it, make sure things aren't ratcheting, make sure things aren't gonna come apart. Gotta see how healthy this motor is too. I haven't driven this sled more than maybe a mile since I've had it or this engine and all those other chassis, but super pumped, super excited. I'm glad we made it up here. What a beautiful sunny day. I'm gonna do some poles on this sled, some wide open poles. Maybe we'll uh, check the spark plugs and make sure we're not running too lean or whatever's going on. It should be super rich, which is safe. Let's see, what the, uh, see if we can get these triple pipes singing. Honest, it's kind of disappointing that thing uh it don't get out of its own way right now uh i have to really look at some clutching and look at some gearing it also feels like it kind of ratchets right off the gate too when it when the horsepower hits it's either the drivers are slipping or something in the chain case might be slipping just a little bit but when it pulls, it pulls really hard and really healthy. Um, give you some tuning and stuff to do. But like I said, we gotta we gotta do this while we have a little bit of snow. It's not much to test when it's uh, middle of summer. But we're having a great time. We'll see what happens. this thing it's a 2001 ps uh, wsm2 chassis and it's got a psi 825 twin in it um, i just slapped all this together just the last month it's got a big old check out the belt drive on that old girl oh. that's the old swenson belt drive you gotta be kidding me thing it's like a blower mo a blower uh, belt on it nothing but the best for a little landing. I don't know about that. Landing Archibald, the richest man on this hill, guys. <laughs> yeah. Unlimited Maybe amount of up. knowledge and resources gets you stuff like this. Yeah. <laughs> We're pushing it now, Rocky. <laughs> you know, you got to a little bit on race day. <laughs> this is this is just fun for me. It's incredible. It really is. Hand hand built. I mean the only thing he didn't build was the skis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything else. At Jackson, I broke both limiter straps, so it kind of hosed me for the rest Seriously? of the race. Oh no! So we got we got rid of the limiter strap delete kit. Nice. <laughs> nice. Got limiter straps back yeah. on it. Just here for a good time. That's cool. Good job. All right, so that was that was my good buddy uh, Landon Archibald. I've known him for several years. His dad Murray was an old school hill climber. Uh, Landon's done a lot of hill climbing. He's big into the vintage stuff. Gosh, so what, what was going on with this ZRT, man? This thing is starting out in fifth gear. It, it doesn't wake up until about 40 miles an hour. And then when it hits, like I said, I feel a little bit of a ratchet, a little bit of a clunk. And then it pulls really hard and feels smooth. But it's tacking around, gosh, 8,500, 8,500 RPM. But gosh, that's the that's why we wanted this chassis though, because I can I have a tachometer that works. Uh, everything was plug and play, but there's it gives me a good basis to know what know what we got. It's hard to say. We're uh, gonna have to look at some uh, some clutching definitely. I'm thinking it's maybe a tighter secondary spring so it can hold the horsepower. It might just be dumping into fifth right off the bat and because the spring ain't tight enough to hold it. Might have to look at some helixes. 
Um, the primary clutch, you know, I'm revving at probably 8,500. That's probably pretty good for this motor. Maybe 87 is where it needs to be, but. Well, that was a good test because that's a hyper snowmobile we just raced. That's a full PSI motor that we just uh, went against. So we'll keep playing around, have some fun. Maybe we'll get the Thundercat out. There's a catalyst around here somewhere that I was promised that I can ride. We better go find that catalyst. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, we're on gate seven. We're in the blue lane. My neighbor Brody Zollinger is supposed to be running next. He's on a stock 600, 2015 stock 600 cat. He should be airing it out on this catwalk right behind me. We want to see it up and close. Brody, man, he aired it out. He didn't disappoint. That's awesome. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Hey guys, I got my Thundercat. We're over here at the practice hill. Let's see if we can find some people to race. So this is Brody Zollinger. He's been hill climbing for how many years, Brody? This is my end of my third year end of his third year and you're 16 currently right yep this is awesome and you're in semi-pro amateurs he's in amateurs amateurs okay so what we got here this is the practice track the big mountains over there we're on the practice track brand new catalyst 2024 600 any mods to this sled nope fully stock put it together out of the box here we got it what track are we running here brody 154 with a two and a half inch paddle two and a half inch paddle okay first we're going to do is a little hail drag race up here Gwen's going to be at the finish line me and brody will figure out how to take off we'll start ourselves the old you know backyard starting tree i'm going to race him on my thundercat then i'm going to race him on my mountain cat 600 then i'm going to race him on my powder extreme let's have some fun yep. cool with that yep let's do it right now i'm racing vintage mod versus catalyst he's not <laughs> racing rim shot me and brody i felt were pretty close off the line this yeah. thing took off i took off Thundercat topped end him, probably about mid-track, I would say. Uh, Dude, that was so close. I almost caught him right there at the end. I could really feel the mountain cat really wanting to scratch at him. Doesn't matter, Powder Extreme will get him. Let's do it. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, I jumped just a little, I ain't gonna lie, but I feel like you did too. Oh, God, so well, man. I never saw Brody. Yeah, <laughs> I was I well, was nervous I when was I... Coming. I... I got you on... I was next to you, you know? Yeah. All of a sudden, you started sort of my way. Yeah. I yeah, when I... When I came... When I wheelie... God, I about... That guy could have put his arm out and, like, touched my sled. <laughs> you know, he could have patted me on the head on the way by. <laughs> So what is this thing? 2020 850 Skidoo factory turbo. Seriously? Came out of the factory with 165 horse. I'm probably running out of 170. 
Seriously? That's like what this is. So again, we're at 8,000 feet, people. That was pretty close. Yeah. I can't believe this is actually happening. I'm on a 2024 catalyst. Let's see what happens. Man, you guys, what a way to end the day. Tons of new sleds, old sleds. Man, what a what a sight to see on how far sleds have come over the years. To be able to ride that new Catalyst, that was amazing. To be able to race a Thundercat versus a Catalyst, I haven't seen that yet. And to be able to experience myself, incredible. Super good people. It feels like everyone's your friend, right, with snowmobiles. And... Uh, Ran into some old acquaintances from back in the day, and it's been awesome, you guys. Thanks for following the channel. We'll find something awesome to do this summer, so keep watching, keep looking out for us. Catch you on the next one.